Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at the live bindings, one of each sample that comes with Rad Studio. So the sample is very easy to find if you just uh, go and open a sample project and under uh, Object Pascal or C++ uh, you can go ahead and there's a live bindings folder, one of each and you'll be able to find in there uh, the one of each bind component VCL example. Now it really doesn't matter if it's VCL, um, it's completely the same for VCL or FireMonkey, um, it's just working with different controls on the user interface here. But the key concepts are very much the same. So we're going to run it and then we're going to actually have a look at what's going on underneath. Now on here we can see we've got uh, a binding expression. So this one is a, a list box as we select an item we can see it's the label is then saying selected four, selected five, see selected plus the text of the selected item. So let's have a look underneath here. On the form you'll find the live bindings list. And nicely they're all ordered and named appropriately towards the tabs, so it's quite easy to locate the binding that you're interested in to review. Uh, and this is binding expression one, so if we just select that there, we can see the source component is our list box. And on here we can see there's a source expression. And the source expression basically says take the source value, and we're using quotes here, so we're doing selected hyphen, then a space, plus, and then selected text of self returns back the selected text of the list box. So if you want to find out the, the methods that are supported, um, on the live bindings list you can view the methods and in here you can come in and find uh, a whole load of different selected methods. So we've got selected text, selected value, selected lookup value. So if you have, uh, you might have a text but you might then have a lookup value that might be you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 or whatever. Um, and uh, you have the ability to go ahead and add in additional methods as well, register those at runtime. But you can use any of those methods then within the expression to get the value back. Now, the live binding works, obviously we've got the, uh, the source component, and then we've got the control, um, which is uh, the target basically. So the control component is label bind expression, uh, which is this one here, label bind expression. And the control expression is the caption. So this label has a caption, and that's what we're going to be updating. So we could change this to be self.parent.caption. Uh, or parent.caption and then that would then res resolve back to the parent which is the tab sheet and then update the control um, tab if that was the caption property for example. We could do parent.parent .parent, um, to get back to the form so it's quite quite flexible but that's that's the first one. Now let's get back to the demo. Um, now before I, I will work my way through these but I just want to just highlight really um, the the difference between the link and the list. So we've got a bind grid link, a bind list link, and a bind link. So here I'm just going to navigate to the second record. And as I come back we can see we're on the second record and we're on the second record. Uh, let's go ahead and change this critters and I'm going to change this to say uh, critters1. You can see as we leave the control it automatically links that back in, working exactly the same way that a data set would work um, rather than just a, a component. So um, that's really really easy to see, you know, uh, VCL style, you know, data source controls, um, but this is just a regular, we're going to have a look here, this is just a list box, not a, D, a DB list box, and it's a label, not a DB label. Uh, now. The difference here, if we actually go and have a look at the bind list, we can see this is still saying critters, and as we move, um, well in fact let's just go ahead and show you, click uh, the bottom one here, 
it's not changed the state of the grid um, which is connected up to the bindings. Um, so the list basically is used to fill um, a control with values. So for example, if you want to do a lookup list, then you could use the list one to fill the control with values. So when you go and select one of the values from the list, it then doesn't re-navigate the rest of the data set. So you need to fill up you know, the country list into, say, three places on the screen. You can use the list um, connected to the country data source, and then job's done. Uh, and that's really the difference between a list and a link. Um, now, the other one that's quite interesting on here is the position. So let's go and have a look at the position one here. Uh, we can see here there's a number of bits. Uh, we've got some clear expressions, which is not in there. Um, control expressions. So the control expressions as self, dot max, and position and hint. And this is reading back from the source, the record count, which is from the data set, the maths maximum, uh, so it's doing zero comma record number minus one. Uh, so that's getting the current position. Uh, and then the hint is record and it's using uh, to string record number of to string record count. And what that does at runtime, in fact, let's put it open, let's just pop it back up. As we move around, you can see that's keeping up to date. Uh, this is record three of seven, that's the hint. Record two of seven. And, and also because we're now changing the position, it's keeping the, uh, the record um, up to date. And that's just done, the position plus one equals the record number. So that's basically what we need to do to make that uh, a two-way binding to the scroll bar there. Um, so we'll have a look underneath here. There's absolutely no code apart from one notifier. Um, which is used for the final expression one here. So as something is selected, we then just tell the binding list to notify that it's been an update, and that will then update the, the label here. Um, so if we go and have a look here, we've got an expression item that has a text and an edit label dot caption and that's then just picked up from the selected text and the index. And again, using the to string to take the integer and convert it into a number to put into a text um, to display that out. So that's the one of each. I say it's definitely worth having a, an explore through this sample, um, open up the bindings, uh, click your way down. You can see in the objects expector the different binding types. Uh, you can explore the different properties that have been set up to see how they're working and linking uh, the, the UI and uh, the data behind to it. Um, so really, really useful sample to look at the different components available for Visual Live Bindings.